Hello and welcome to Harness Community YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will walk you through how you can set up a simple deployment pipeline using the Harness CD Community Edition. The Community Edition is a lightweight version of Harness CD which you can download and run on your laptop or any VM. The Community Edition is intended to get dev started with Harness quickly without having a need to sign up for a Harness SaaS account. So in case, you are new to the community edition, we recommend watching our installation videos to understand and set up the community edition on your system. Also, we have a custom stage pipeline video to get a general idea on the pipeline setup for Harness CD community edition. You'll find the links to all these videos in the description below. For this video, I have installed the community edition using Helm chart and signed in. So let's get started with running a deployment pipeline on the community edition. For that, Let's create a project. So you can give it any name. Click on save and continue. We'll leave the collaborators part for later. Let's click on save and continue. Now, before we begin with setting up a pipeline, let's get started with the most essential step in Harness CD. That is setting up a Harness Delegate. So there are two entities which we need to consider here, Harness Manager and Harness Delegate. So a Harness Manager is where all your CD configurations are stored and pipelines are managed. And Harness Delegate is a service that you install on your environment that connects to the Harness Manager and performs the necessary operations on your con container orchestration platforms, artifact repositories, etc. So, for setting up or installing a Harness Delegate, hover over Project Setup, click on Delegates, click on Create a Delegate, the Delegate model appears, you can choose Kubernetes or Docker, we are using Kubernetes, click on Continue, give your Delegate a name, we are using the laptop size Delegate and installing using Kubernetes. Let's click on continue. Let's copy the delegate YAML. Go to the cluster. Here I'm using Minikube. So just let me create the harness, harness delegate YAML file. So let's paste the YAML. Let's save it. Let's apply it. This is done. Let's move back and click on continue. This can take a few minutes for the delegate setup to be completed. It is checking for heartbeat. Meanwhile, if you face any issues, I would recommend keep your uh, pods on a watch so that if they restart or if you face any issues, you can just directly go and check for the status. So you can see the delegate is installed successfully. Let's click on done. You can see your quick start delegate over here. Now let's move on to create the pipeline. For that click on pipelines. Click on create a pipeline. Give your pipeline a name. And click on start. I'll be using a sample deployment YAML for the pipeline. So let's go to the YAML section. Let's enable editing. Let's paste the YAML and click on save. So the pipeline is published successfully. Let's go to the visual uh, visual section and see our pipeline. So in the demo stage, you can see the service infrastructure execution. Let's go to service. Um, we have a service input. This would be, this is just a placeholder which would be replaced at runtime. And we have the Nginx manifest. So 
a service represent um, your workloads logically uh, you can say it that it is a logical entity to be deployed monitored or changed independently also let's look at the execute execution section and you can see that we are doing a rollout deployment over here now let's click on run let's add a new service which would be nginx let's click on save now we have connector so a connector is basically uh, which contains all the necessary information which is required to connect with the third party tools so if you want to integrate with third party tools in harness you would need connectors these could be github connector cluster connectors etc here we are setting up a github connector so let's click on new connector let's give it any name i would just say github let's click con click on continue select repository paste the repository url click on continue again provide your github username and this is where we add a secret this would be a github personal access token which you can get from your github uh, user profile click on new secret text give it a name so any name would be fine just giving github pat here add your github pat uh, in the secret value now just click on save you also need to enable api access over here and add the same token apply selected click on continue now there are two ways to uh, connect to the provider so one is through harness platform and another is harness delegate we can go by any of these methods uh, using i'm using harness platform for now click on save and continue connector is created it is just testing the connection so the verification is successful let's click on finish so our github connector is in place now let's add a new environment let's give it quick start so our environment just uh, represent your deployment targets logically like you would have around a prod pre-prod qa etc so let's just click on save and now here there is a there is another connector this is going to be a cluster connector so click on new connector give it a name i would say kates that is kubernetes and click on continue uh, use the credentials of a specific harness delegate that is what i'm going to use here as we already have a delegate in place and let's use quick start delegate and click on save and continue it is again uh, testing the connection So the verification is successful. Let's click on finish. Let's give it a namespace. Let's just give it default. And you can select script skip pre-flight check if you wish. Uh, if you have already verified the connectors, but let's uh, let's not do it right now. So let's click on run pipeline. Verifying pipeline inputs success. Verifying connectors is done. So our pipeline is started successfully and let's go to the console view to check the execution. It has not started yet. It's queued. Now it's in running. So this is the demo stage. Service step started. So completed now we would move to infrastructure it's done now resource constraint done now we are heading towards a rollout deployment so there would be multiple steps uh, for the rollout deployment
as you can see fetch files initialize prepare apply wait for a steady state and then wrap up so it's fetching files so the git fetch files are completed starting kubernetes rollout deployment it's done waiting for a steady state it's done it's wrapping up it's done so the rollout deployment also completed and you can see success now let's go to pipeline and quickly check so you can see quick start pipeline recent execution success and this is how uh, we execute a sample deployment pipeline in harness cd community edition so thank you for watching our video on Harness CD community. We hope that it provided you with some valuable information on how to use the platform effectively and optimize your continuous delivery process. In case you face any issues or blockers related to Harness CD community, we recommend that you raise an issue on the CD community repo itself. Our community team monitors the repo closely and will do our very best to address all the issues that come up. If you face any doubts or queries related to Harness CD community, you can always reach out to us on our Harness Community Slack channel. Our community is full of passionate individuals who are always eager to help out. So you can find the invite in the description below as well. Subscribe to Harness Community YouTube channel for more such videos. Do make sure to try the CD Community Edition and share your feedback. Thank you.